I'm Jen Hadfield and I'm here at scrapbook.com sharing how to make an easy card in five minutes with three easy steps. So now you have your paper and we are gonna talk about what to do with the paper and the card kit. One thing that I love about my Hey Hello collection are these 12 by 12 pages. So they have four by three different sayings on them, but also tags and we have the banners and we have two by twos. So it makes making cards really easy. So also I love that there's different themes for the papers. So we have this page, which is all thank you. And then we have a page that is about get well and sympathy cards or pages. And then we have a 12 by 12 that's all about memories and sympathy. And then we have our happy birthday page which has all of the four by threes and the tags and the banners and the two by twos. And then here's some of the papers. So you can also use scraps that you have already. And I love the different shapes that you can use with these shapes from Simple Stories. You just put them on top of your scraps and then you just cut out the shape. It makes it really easy. So there's this, this size, but there's also a two by two size, which is great for cards. So now I have my base and I'm trying to decide what paper that I wanna put with it. So here's a few of the papers. And one of the things that I love about my collections is that I design papers that the fronts and the backs go together. So I love that you can use both the front and the back on your paper. Um, for different projects. It's also great for home decor. Here is a page that I love with all the different um, animals on it. And then the back has this kind of an animal print. So the fronts and the backs go together. We have ladybugs that have a back that matches. We have bees with the little hive pattern on the back. And then this page is really great for card making because you can cut apart all of these lines and use them on cards. Like if you could use this whole hello right here, you could cut out the llamas, you could cut out purses, and then you just add it to your card. Then we have our hedgehogs. We have florals, different types of florals, but they all go together. And on the backs, we have the backs in the fronts. So we have vines on the back of this one. We have our daisies, which I think are super sweet with a nice graphic on the back. And then we have this beautiful black floral, it has some polka dots on the back, different florals. These donuts are really fun to use for cards. And then on the back, it says hooray, which is great for like birthday cards. We have our hedgehogs again that are in cupcakes, which is really cute for birthday cards. And then a plaid, which is awesome for any occasion. We have a floral. And then this is one of my favorite papers. So this is a robin's nest. And then on the back, we have the birds that go with it. I think it's beautiful. And another really cute idea is the florals in hearts uh, with a nice polka dot on the back. The next step that we do is we take our card base and we add paper. So you can use your paper scraps, but also if you have a paper that you want to use, you can cut a piece of the paper and you can do any size that you want. I usually do between one inch and two inches. And once you cut your paper, you put it on your card and you can cut it to the length that you want. So I've cut my paper to the size of my card. I add some adhesive to the back and add the paper onto the card. Another thing that I love about my papers is at the bottom of each of the papers, we have some different patterns. So if you turn it over, you can cut all of these out and it looks really awesome on a card. So I'll show you how to do that really fast then you can add that to your paper too. At the top or wherever you want. Another idea is you can rip the bottom of the page across and it kind of makes an uneven 
line, but I love the way that the texture looks. And then you add that to your card like this. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to see more from scrapbook.com, please like, share, subscribe, and leave a message. Happiness is life handmade.